Everybody pray for me. It's been a day for me. Yeah, yeah. Same. Oh my god, that was so rough. First thing right off the bat, we went back, got some more gears for the Purple Elite. Now that I have the red Zuma right here is my wheelie bike, I'm taking the Purple Elite and gonna re gear it because I have 9 1 gearings in it right now. So it's really bottom end bike and uh, put some 7 1s in it and get some more top end out of it. This is the only reason I even started getting into scooters, guys. Just wanna thank Scooter Swap Shop, not just for the parts, but really this is the only reason I committed to scooters and right here, baby. All this candy and the flavored Tootsie Rolls. These are seriously the best ones. Why does this belt look so tiny? Zuma, just because I didn't have any spare belts, so. Oh, I thought it was. Oh, yep. Yeah. We got a caliper. Um, got a black NCY caliper. Don't know if this is going to go on the Elite front disc setup or if it's going to go on the Zuma yet. This wrapping reminds me of like some, your neighbor drops you off cookies and they're like on a plate, but they have like this over it. And then maybe like one strand of red also. Like the stock pre bug stem. Damn, these bolts are huge. Disc stem. This thing looks insane, dude. But damn, I need uh, fork legs now. I forgot about that too. And then we got. And then we had some stage six rollers. Cool, stoked on that. We got some goodies in. Now I gotta clean all this up. Just building parts in the back for the disc front end setup for this thing. I'm really debating on whether I wanna do a naked bar setup on this thing or not. So let me know if you guys wanna see raw bars or do you guys like this headset. We'll check out one of the new Mop Boy slaps right here. Website should be live in like two weeks. You guys, we got hoodies, um, shirts, uh, jackets, like windbreakers that are super sick and I can't wait to show you guys. Jumping right back into the purple bike. It's been a little bit, We're actually kinda of taking a step back with this bike. So you guys saw how um, when I put, built it, I went ahead and changed the gears to 9-1 gearing and when I built the 72 kit and everything like that, we changed the gears out. Well, the reason I was doing that originally was because I wanted to make this the wheelie bike and kind of like just the slow mess around wheelie bike. But then I got this thing and then this thing is more geared to mess around wheelie bike and I need to get more top speed out of this thing so I can hang with Chuck and Cole when we're mobbing and they're going like 60 plus on theirs and this thing's topped out because I got 9-1 gears in it. Backwards, go back into the gearbox, swap out the gears and uh, basically show you guys how you can get some more top end um, faster speed on your scooters. Uh, it's the same deal with most scooters and it's not going to be the same exact process but the same deal in fact of how the much the gears change on this bike right now. So yeah, before it was just kind of revving out, topping out, I want to say probably 50 miles per hour, maybe 55, somewhere in there, depending on where we were riding. Um, and it was just kind of screaming at that point. It was just revving out, too low of gears. Got nine ones in there right now. There's a step between, which Cole has in his, which is eight ones. We're stepping right to seven one. More top speed setup. So yeah, kind of the same process if you were to do this on like any motor, change the gears and you get a little more top speed. Yes, it's gonna take away from the bottom end. So initial uh, yank off the line, the pull, it's going to be a little different. You're going to have power in a different spot now. So basically you're taking your power that would go here and then kind of end out and you're kind of dragging it out a little bit more and allowing those gears to get going. And then once your gears are going, you're going 60, the motor still has time to throw that thing around and not over rev you. That's kind of the purpose of this, but let's just get straight to it, boys. Going to open this up. Basically got to pull this drain bolt out right here, drain all the gearbox fluid, and then pull all my CVT stuff off, take off the gear cover, clean that stuff up, press off the other gear off the shaft, press this one on, throw it all back together, and I'll show you guys uh, the final result. Bring these bad boys up. We got our fancy gears right there. That's what we're looking like. Ooh, almost dropped it.
Alright, here is the first gear we're going to be changing out. Took it off backwards, you're supposed to take off the wheel first, but that one has a washer behind it. Clean all this up first. So. It's going to be kind of the same process, but different depending on your scooter. But here's the other gear that we're taking off. This one's the one you have to press off. You have to press this shaft back out of it. Um, take note of which way it faces. The in is usually out. It's usually flat on the inside part. And that just slides into this one. That has a washer behind it. All right, so this is how we're doing this one. The socket that's like pretty much the same size as the shaft here. A little smaller so it fits through here and we're just gonna push this down through here. Oh, she's coming out with ease. Look at that. All the way through, just like that. Boom. No longer needed. We need the flat side on the inside of the shaft, so we need to go through like so, down like that. Um, what I'm going to do is take a little bit of some grease, get it where it's just the nut sticking out. This way. Oh. Looks like that went right on. Got a good old S23 Honda Dio uh, gasket right here. That screw swap shop piece. Your wheel should spin freely after you put everything back on. If your case is rubbing on something on the inside, it's probably something to do with. Uh, your gear not sliding all the way on your axle. And on Kohl's, we had to not run that washer right here. This one runs with washers, feels good. So, if you don't know your gearing, you can count your gearing by literally spinning this and marking this and watch how many times your wheel spins. So this should spin seven times in the amount my wheel spins, one. Now we can throw all the CVT stuff back on, put in my new rollers, and uh, put it all back together and put New slaps, huge boys. Total weight of 32 grams last time. We're gonna aim for like 36, I think that's what Chuck's running in his, so I'm gonna at least start there. One shell out of the whole pack is literally just the complete wrong size. It will not go over this roller at all. I just took one of the other ones off my other one, it slides right on. Sitting at 36 grams now, so now I'm gonna go ahead and throw all that CBT stuff together on the bike. All right, hitting the little oil fill piece, which is kind of annoying because you literally have to fill the oil until it's level in the case. So you have to like tilt the bike to level and it's gonna spill out a little bit and that's how you know you're full. It's time to give it a test. We put the gear oil in it, put everything back on. Um, let's go see it. I upped the rollers that had 32 grams to 36 now. <laughs> Also, both my tires were so flat. I noticed last time when Chuck was riding it, I was falling behind him. And I could literally see the tire being completely squished out. It all, straight away already feels different. It carries itself throughout the power band. Let's see if it still vibrates like it was, too. Oh, yeah. Dude, she's still got pull though. She I'll have to get the speedometer wrap and actually give it a real test. Honestly, I feel like this bike has some uh, worn crank bearings. When you're cruising like 45, 50, you feel the bike like, like drag almost. It's like, nee, nee. 
I don't know, you feel it below your feet, almost like it feels like the, the crank. I don't know, either that or it could be something uh, weird in my pulley or something. This crank did have a little play in it. I didn't go through this one and fully do it um, like I did the Zuma. I wish I did now and just split the cases and put the crank in. But she feels way better, like, speed-wise now. For sure. Like, before right here, it'd be revving out. You can just hear the difference. I'm about to play a clip when we were riding the other day when I had 9-1 gearing. Oh, this thing's flying now, bro. <laughs> I'm keeping up with Chuck now, son. <laughs> yup. It feels like a totally different bike now with this gearing, though. Fighting the wind the whole time. My body still thinks so bad to the left right now. I think I have too much air in the tire. Screenshot this. <laughs> so much better. I'll leave that low gear into the pre bug. All right, boys, that's going to do it for the purple elite for now. Um, really, the next thing now on this thing is just the disc front end. That's all I'm waiting to do to it. And then this thing's pretty much build complete and uh, don't have any other major changes I'm going to be doing to it. But we keep jumping from project to project. It's crazy in the garage. I just put in so much work on the BMW right now, on the wiring and everything like that. and got this thing so squared away and ready. It's crazy. Like I mentioned in this video, stay tuned for the merch drop coming very, very soon. I can't wait to show you guys what we got in store and I hope you guys cop some sick ass gear. That's going to do it for this one. I'll see you guys on the next one.